Running a SaaS or a website where you want your users to engage can be tough. You have to do everything in your power to attract the users to your website. And then when they are on your website, you need them to engage as well. Today's product showcase is looped in a platform between you and your users. Via looped in, you can get feedback, share roadmaps, news, and so much more. So without further ado, let's dive into looped in and let me show you the options. We are now inside the product looped in and here you can see on the dashboard, we get a quick overview of our activity on the roadmap, our news announcements and in the feedback module. I will just open up the menu here and over here you can see all of the different modules and settings we have within looped in. We can really customize our roadmap and our updates feed to look exactly like we want it to be. Now, first off, I want to show you the ideas module. In here, both you and I can create ideas that we want other people to see, or at least the company itself. Here you can see that I have made an idea for a video that I can do here on YouTube. And how it looks on the roadmap, I will just show you here. We have here the ideas module, and you can see the idea here. What visitors can do is that they can go in and they can upvote the idea. They can also click on it and then they can share comments. Over here to the right, you can see a new submission. This means that visitors can come in and add the ideas they would like to see within the platform. And it is this easy that you just need to add a title and some details about the idea. And then when the company receives this idea, they can of course reach out and ask questions about the idea in order to really understand it. Now, as you just saw briefly, the roadmap here. Roadmap is the next module I want to show you because the roadmap is where it really shows the value of looped in. Here, you can build out the roadmap exactly as you wanted to and I will show you just in a moment. But this is the roadmap that visitors and users see. Here, they can click on the cards and they can add comments. Often comments are used for questions or additions to the exact assignment we see here. We can also upvote if we want to see this feature being developed next. Here we can see in progress right now, the looped in review, which I'm doing right now is in progress. And then we can see what's up next and the future over here. We can see released. Now let me show you how you build out your roadmap. Here we are in the admin section and we can easily drag and drop the different tasks all around. Here I have changed my sections a little bit because I didn't like the order before. I like when it goes from left to right and before it was from right to left. So how I did that was I clicked edit roadmap and here you can see all of the columns. I have changed future all the way to the left where it was to the right before and then I have added released here. And what you can do is that you can also hide released if you don't want to show what has been released but you want to know it internally in your business. That is also possible. And then you can see down here, we have a ton of different settings that we can do and we can really customize our roadmap and our updates feed to exactly how we want it to be. We can add a logo. We can choose whether we want to display comments. We can allow follows and we can even change the direction of our menu points here. As I scroll down here, you can see that we have even more features and settings to do. We can disable votes if we don't want that. We can work with roadmap objectives. We can add features. We can change ideas and the whether the feedback module should be shown or not. When we have gone through all of the settings and made it as exactly we would like, you can see up here, we can also add a public title and an internal title for the business internally. But when you're done, you just scroll down and press save changes. And then you can see Right now I have hidden released. So if we go back to the roadmap and I press refresh, you can now see that the release is no longer here, but it is still in our admin. It's very easy to add cards. All you have to do is choose an objective here. I will just choose product review and I will add canny as a product review. I will add this card here. You can see it's an up next. This is not up next. I'll just add it to the future. You easily drag and drop all of these elements around and the more you keep this updated, the better for your users as they will also be updated. Over here, we can see completed cards if we have any of those and then we can toggle our features. 
we can edit the roadmap as i just shown you and then we can do a lot more but that is the roadmap module now the updates module is also really interesting because here we can add announcements we can add news and we can even add releases so let's say you have an announcement that you have a new partner on your platform then you can easily make a news or an update here telling about that but if you have made a huge release that your users needs to know you can also just make an announcement or a release message here and it's important then that you add this update section on your website or at least in your roadmap website as we just saw before so on the front end page for all of your users this is how it looks they can see version one has been released and then a short text i wrote then they can based on this give a reaction here i will say that i'm very happy to see this and then they can even subscribe for updates so they will get an email each time you make an announcement this is great for custom engagement and to drive them into your website or at least into your public roadmap now let's create a new post here we can choose the category based on what it is let's say it's a new feature then you choose that it can also be an improvement a fix that a lot of people have asked for and a lot more it can also be a coming soon i will just choose for now coming soon here you can see that i've made a draft of a product review that i'm building of looped in which is coming very soon i will then create the draft then you can see we can add even more functionality and information to our announcement here i can add segmentations if i have set that up I can choose whether it should be public or private. Private is mainly for internal. Then I can choose whether I want to announce it to all of my email subscribers, as I just shown you before. We can add attachment. We can add comments already now. And then here we can see the reactions when we have published it. We can see the feedback and the email history. For now, I will just press publish post. So now you can see that we have two announcements. We have the product review and we have the version one released. And this is how easy it is. You can always go to the roadmap and see how your updates look. And it is not only showing on the roadmap. If you want to, you can install the sidebar widget, which is shown down here. When I click on this, you can see that Loopdem themselves has made a feature request roundup. They have added new integrations for your public pages and a lot more. So this is another way that you can add it to your website and increase the customer engagement. Because each time you add a new announcement, they will add a little notification sign down here, which increases the customer engagement because your customers and users, they want to click and see what's new. Now moving on to the feedback module. Right now, the feedback module is only on the public roadmap page soon we will see it as a feedback widget which i have mentioned briefly in the introduction a feedback widget can be used for a lot of different elements it can be used after an action it can be used just to get feedback on a specific design or a lot more ideas that you have the feedback widget will really increase all of the data flow and the feedback that we get but here you can see that i've received one feedback that someone would like to see an active campaign product review. And in here, I can see that they would like me to showcase the most important features of active campaign. And right now it is in the category of new. What I can do if I like this idea, then I can push it directly to the roadmap and it will then lay in the future column as we just saw before. I can also convert it to an idea to maybe gather some more information about this feedback subject and get some feedback from all of the other users and customers that I do have. I can also mark it as complete if it's already in the platform or I can just delete the feedback if it's spam or it's just not relevant for my business. The way it works from the public roadmap page is as simple as we saw before. Basically, you just add a title and some more details and then the feedback is added. This is very simple and it increases the customer engagement because they don't have to fill out a ton of information in order to just give some short feedback to you. Now, the last module here before we go to settings is responses. This is basically all of the responses we get from feedback, from our roadmap and from our updates. So as I've shown you, I could react on the announcement that I make. And in here, we will get an overview of all of these responses to see whether people overall are positive negative or what we need to change now in the settings menu here i will not deep dive so much in here we can add roadmap objectives we can update our categories idea categories and feedback categories 
but overall in here it, you really use the settings to really customize the public roadmap to fit into your style of design so it doesn't look like a very random website they just landed on but they still feel that they are part of your platform universe now the exciting element here is widgets here you can see that we have the sidebar widget which has shown you briefly here you can really customize it with colors what icon you want to use their header options and so much more. You can even choose whether it needs to be in the right corner or in the left corner. And you can always see how it looks down here from looped in. Now we also have the pop over widget. This one is more simplified. As you can see up here, we have the latest updates from looped in. And you can see here, this is just a pop over. And it's very simple. It is just showing all of the news and announcement, but in a more simplified version. And the last one is feedback widget, which I'm really excited to test out whenever they release it. It's not ready yet, but it is coming soon. Here you can see our public pages where you can even customize your roadmap, your ideas and your update boards even more to really fit your style. You can see here some different elements we can change on our roadmap. We also saw all of these elements when we, it was that we edited our roadmap. And the last module I want to show you is integrations. Because what I really like about Loopden is that you can easily push an idea or a task over to Jira or whatever you're using. You can see that they have Pably Connect, but soon they will add Zapier as well. So we can easily push the data from Loopden to Trello, Asana or whatever project system that you use in order to manage all of your tasks. This will really increase the value of Loopden and automate our workflows even more. When we do look at the pricing structure of looped in, it consists of two sides and each side has four plans. Often you will go with the business side and choose a plan in there. But if you are an agency and you want to offer looped in for your customers, they do also have agency plans where you can get up to unlimited workspaces. But looking at the business plan here, you can see that all of the four plans differs on the amount of features and the workspaces you get. Often you only need one workspace if you only have one website, but the plan that offers one workspace does not have as many features. So what I will recommend you is going with the cheapest plan to begin with. And when you have really used loop, then, then later on increase to a more premium because in that way you don't waste your money or your time. Now the pricing compared to the competitors is right in between. They are very close to Upvoti, which is one of the alternatives to Loopden. Now, the most premium alternative to Loopden is Canny. Canny, however, is very expensive compared to Loopden, and the reason being is their extensive analytics module. And the analytics module really makes it possible to gather all of your data and make actions based on the data that you have collected from all of your users. So you should definitely see Loopden as an investment now because later on they will add the analytics module, which I will talk more about just in a moment. When we look into the future of Loopden, they have some quite exciting elements. First off, they're working on an extensive analytics module so we can gather all of the data in one place and see how our users are using the roadmap. Are they reading our news and are they interacting with all of these different content elements that we are setting up? Furthermore, they're adding a feedback widget so you can enter this feedback widget on your website. Let's say you have an onboarding module where your users need to go through an entire onboarding then after this onboarding, you can add the feedback widget asking for feedback or asking just how was the onboarding module? Was it good enough? Was it too confusing? What do we need to change in order to make it easier for new and coming users? Then they are working on the comment module to make it even more extensive so we can start liking comments and upvoting comments. Last but not least, they're working on web push notifications and completely new design for the sidebar as I've shown you in the features section. Now I want to share three use cases with you because Loopland is not only for SaaS companies. Of course, SaaS companies is the most obvious way of using Loopland, but you can use it in many other ways. But of course, the first use case is a SaaS company. You can use Loopland to share news, announcements and whatever it is you want to share with your users in the sidebar design as I shown you earlier in the video. 
Furthermore, you can use the roadmap in order to interact with your users and let them know what you are building and they can even tell you what they would like to see in the platform. Last but not least, you can use the feedback widget wherever you want in your platform. This is often working very well if you add it after certain actions and often customers will express their unsatisfaction in the feedback widget so you can fast act on it and reach out to the customer in order to prevent a churn. Now the next use case I want to share with you is if you are a content creator. You can use LoopedIn to really tell the world what you are working on. Even though it's content, you can tell all of your visitors or your users what content you're working on next. It can be a YouTube video, it can be a blog post, or it can be even an ebook. And what you can do then is you can interact with your visitors. Your visitors can tell what they would like to see of content pieces on your website. They can upvote, they can downvote, and they can even add suggestions. Now the last use case I want to share with you is if you have an e-commerce website. Here you can use LoopedIn to of course share news and announcements, but you can also use the roadmap in order to tell your visitors what products will be coming next to your e-commerce website. And your visitors can even tell you what they would like to see of products on your website. This is really powerful because you get it directly from your customers, what they would like to buy, and they can even sign up. So let's say that a lot of people are asking for a certain blue shirt. As soon as you start selling this blue shirt, you can shoot out an email to all of those people who would like that shirt. And then already there you have started your sales. Moving on to the pros and cons of Loot and starting with the pros, it is a feature packed product. The development of the product is rapid and the design overall is very updated. Whereas for the cons, I sometimes found myself losing data in the flows and I'm missing integrations to Zapier and similar products in order to really automate my workflows. With Loop, then you can really increase your customer engagement on your website. It makes it possible to build exactly what your audience is looking for with the feedback module. Overall, I will give LoopedIn four and a half stars. I'm really impressed by the product. But yeah, that is my review of LoopedIn. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to LoopedIn or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.